For whatever reason, I decided I wanted to record a cooking video and I'm here to tell you the lighting in my kitchen is absolute trash. Um, <laughs> what, what else is new, right? Anyway, I am attempting to cook a vegan, not vegan, let's not vegan, a meatless, let me say that, a meatless pasta. It is butternut squash, roasted red pepper, roasted butternut squash, roasted red pepper, um, pasta essentially. Um, the funny thing is I'm sitting here like it would be so good with chicken, <laughs> but I don't have chicken. So I'm going to try and do it meatless. Um, so alas, iPhone won't let me flip the camera. So let's stop so I can show you what I have done so far. So I haven't done much so far, but I am preheating my oven to 400 degrees. It's taking forever because, you know, electric stove over here. Um, <laughs> but I have diced my butternut squash and my red pepper and I seasoned it with this right here. It basically is just all the good stuff, right? Let me see, where does it tell you what the frick is in it? Huh, nowhere. Anyway, it's basically garlic. Finally, it's basically garlic, salt, pepper, onion. So all the good stuff. So I've seasoned it. I'm about to pop it in for 30 minutes. Hopefully everything will get nice and um, soft. And then we will put it in the blender, question mark. Ooh, sometimes you just be winging stuff, girl. Let's find out. So I'm going to leave those in the oven for 30 minutes. And hopefully, like I said, they'll get nice and juicy um, so that they don't have to stay in there any longer. And then we will blend them. That's a nervous that that's the part I'm nervous about. Like it feels so weird to blend vegetables to me. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the next step in this process, now that our vegetables are hopefully halfway done and don't need anything more, <laughs> the next step is to get our pasta going. So I just picked out some rainbow rotini just to give it some color. So I've got some water boiling here. Let's see where we are with that. That's ready for the pasta, I would say. And then for some protein, just to add some protein, because I my body feels better with protein, I'm going to use this plant-based sausage. It's supposed to be Italian sausage, but I tried to eat these, um, what is this, light life? I tried to eat these on their own and did not like them so like not on their own is like a hot dog i wasn't a fan so i'm hoping i can just put them in the pan with some butter and some seasoning and hopefully get it to be around the same seasoning as a pasta and then add it to the pasta for some protein so that's my plan so i'm gonna get that started wow how do you think do cooking videos like is this ASMR? Do you need two hands? Most people probably use a tripod. Things I'm not doing for 100. <laughs> now, I'm a rookie, so you, uh, you guys like this video. I'll figure out how to do it the right way. Let's see, that's about, yeah, that's about half the box. I'll make a little more just in case my brother wants to try it. Okay. Getting a butter knife out from behind me so that I can one hand just scoop some butter in that. Uh, put some butter in those noodles. There we go. I don't know. Just makes it happier in my head. Get those nice and even. Put the top on, and that is on its way. Just do that because that's about to bubble over for sure. Okay, so the next thing that I cannot do one handed is these sausages. So I'll be back. Okay, things are happening 
a little quickly now. So here are my sausages. Ignore my messy stovetop. Seasoning went everywhere, girl. My bad. So here are my sausages. I have them on low since they're plant-based. I don't want them to, you know, break up or whatever. But essentially, they're done. I mean, it's plants. <laughs> it's plant-based. It's not like meat that's going to be undercooked. My pasta is a defo rede. So we just have the hard part left of pulling out the veggies and blending them. They've only got like five more minutes left and I did test them. They are ready. So the next thing you see is going to be me very scared putting these veggies in the blender. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. So here are my veggies. They are definitely soft. And I feel like any more time in the oven is going to make them, uh, those are definitely ready. The, pep the peppers are definitely ready. Um, <laughs> but yeah, any more time in the oven, I feel like is going to make them dry. So I'm thinking it's time to scoop these girls and put them in the blender. Oh my, I am actually am very scared of this part. No, please, butternut squash was good though. Here we go. The good news is it doesn't look like I'll have to do two batches of this. It's all going to fit in one, which I was nervous about for a second, so... Is no one else like super nervous? No, just me. Cool. No biggie. No big deal. I'll just be nervous on my own. <laughs> Which is okay. It's my dinner. <laughs> Gosh, how do people do cooking videos like permanently or like that's their gig? Okay, so here's my butternut squash and roasted red pepper. My sausages are doing their thing here. Pasta is definitely ready. I'm going to turn my sausages off. Sorry if you couldn't see that. Okay, so over here I have this <laughs> and then I'm going to put a dollop of sour cream mainly because I have it ah! to make it creamy but then to help it blend I'm going to put just some plain almond milk which can I do one-handed yes that is yes haha -ha. skills that i have that i didn't know i had yeah most cooking people on youtube probably have like what's the word uh tripods okay so i still want it to be a little thick so I'm thinking that's a good place. Whew. Okay, here goes. I'm also nervous because I normally only use my blender for smoothies. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> well, let me tell you one thing. It smells really good. And like the consistency on the first go round is really good. Let's see. Let's taste it. Moment of real truth. Oh my god. Mm. Girl, I'm into that. Oh my god, that's good. Okay, so let's get our pasta. Da, 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 da. Let's get the pasta going. Mmm, that was good. See, this is why. What is on my face? Oh, nothing. It's my 
face on my face. This is why you gotta trust. I've made a royal mess. That's what I'm turning around looking at. Um, yep, royal mess. So I'm gonna scoop some of my pasta onto my serving plate here, which you can't see. So the girl in the video, what she did was she, like, I'm so excited. She, she kind of mixed hers up, but I'm one of those weird people. Maybe I will mix it. We'll see. I'm, I'm lying. Okay. I'm lying. All right. Here's the finished product. Plant-based roasted red pepper butternut squash pasta. Ta-da! I feel like I skipped showing you some steps, but things were getting complicated, girl. Things were getting complicated, girl. All right. So I already know that I like the sauce, right? So good. I'm a fan. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Such an interesting flavor. Okay, so let me try it with the sausage. You see, I'm avoiding it. Piece of sausage, it's right there. Mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. I definitely like the sausage much better in this context and then not as like a, a hot dog because. It was not good as a hot dog, but seasoned up. And in this butternut squash red pepper pasta, it's good. Mm, 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 mm. Let me know if you want more haphazard cooking videos. I'm trying to eat more plant-based, so you might see some of that.